Okay, today we're going to change the oil, engine oil, in a Bombardier Outlander Max Rotex 400cc high output. Uh, you can see I had to buy $90 worth of oil for the two quads. It's 100% uh, synthetic oil. And there was 60 bucks, 30 bucks for both of them. So that's 90 bucks worth of oil. The filters are 17 bucks each. A Rotex filter, as you can see, there's one out of the 800. And there's the new one that's going to go into 400. They both take the same type of filter. A 5 8 wrench fit the 800. 400 to 17 mil. Yeah, that in last time. The dealer did. Freaking tight. Surely wasn't gonna leak anyway. Where oh, I look pretty clean from the dipstick side, but look at this side. She's a little bit blacker looking. A little magnet in there, as opposed to uh, any fine filings of the motor or anything. Uh, accumulate there. Uh, it's hard to see through the oil there. It wasn't, you know, it's not too bad. It wasn't driven that much since the last oil change, but 45 bucks change oil, you don't want to do it every day. No worse than a diesel vehicle, I guess so. I want to show you the uh, magnet in the drain plug or oil plug. So it's. Well, a bit of crap down there. I don't have much if there's any metal or anything, but anyway, we're going to clean it all out and stuff. And if there was any metal, it's going to be out of there. So, in your Rotex, we got to take the, the cover off here to get the oil filter. to get the oil filter cover off. It's a little easier to get that with the 400 than it was the 800. For the drain pan. So after we get our three screws out there, take another check. Make sure all the oil is dripping in. However, need to just take the cover off. Easy, more oil coming out. Little O ring around the cover. And we'll drain that out. There. Here's the oil filter. There's oil filter. More oil dripping out of her. You can see she's see in there pretty good, eh? Well, it's not that bad looking drain out of her. Fill her oil. Okay, we're gonna put the filter back on, new filter. Make sure she screws in there, it just seats a little bit. Let me cover all cleaned off inside and rubber seal still in good shape. So we'll put that back on. Make sure that's centered in there nice and nice. Get these all started evenly before we tighten them up. The wrench is getting a bit oily, hard to... Come on over. 
over tighten them. Break the stud off in there. In bad shape. So there's the new filter back in. Next we'll put the plug back in underneath and uh, add some oil. Okay, we're going to put the drain plug back in. Just carefully clean off around that. Make sure we get all the sand and crap out of the threads there. As you see the magnet the holes all cleaned out, ready to go back in. And we'll snug her up. Uh, we want her snug but not overly tight, I should say. And well, once we get oil in and start up, we will check down here again to, to make sure that there is no leaks. Now, we're going to put some oil in it. Take the Stick your collar. This is a funnel hose I used hooked up for putting her in there. Much easier than funnel without. For 60 bucks. Got it. I'm going to put the dipstick in now to see if uh, what it's showing. Right now she's not quite up to the low mark, so we know we're going to need more. And plus, once we start her up, the, it's going to take more oil to get her up in around the filter better. So now we're going to start her up. Let the oil get in around the filter really good, and then we'll recheck it again after that. Filter set of the 400 Can Am and 800 Can Am Outlander Max XT. Okay, we're going to check the oil level now. We let her in for a few minutes. See where the oil level's at, and we'll top her up to where she's supposed to be. And she's down to edge. We hit the full mark, so we're gonna bump back in, move that. There, got the oil changed in two quads. 800 Can Am Outlander and the 400 Can Am Outlander Max. Almost time to get the bike out. And the snowmobiles have been put to bed. And the old antiques are over in the trailer, put the bed with the snowblower. Hopefully this is the last of this white stuff for this year.